What is going on everybody, Zonic here, and in today's video, we have a fun triple Kanto starter team from Mr. Thamagotcha, fellow content creator, so be sure to go check out his channel, link down in the description. But we have Blastoise, Venusaur, and Charizard, and with the update to Charizard and Wing Attack, this team becomes a lot more viable. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about it, and let's go ahead and get into the battles. All right, getting into game one, we have Swampert on the lead. And they're going to go ahead and swap out into Knockout. I wonder, I wonder what team this is. Now, this is actually a pretty good situation for them. Blastoise having access to Ice Beam and the Venusaur in the back to cover the Swampert is going to be very advantageous. So, they're going to look to go ahead and go for Ice Beam now. This does do super effective damage, but will it get a shield here from Knocked Out? No, the Knocked Out decided to let it go. So, they're going to go ahead and I'm guessing shield. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and shield take switch advantage that way they can align Venusaur to Swampert and then we'll likely see a Pidgeot be coming in right now let's find out it's gonna be yep it's gonna be the Pidgeot that does decide to come in so they're gonna go ahead and go for the Hydro Cannon now still a lot of neutral damage um, and might just get a shield from the opponent and they do but unfortunately oh can they get to another one in time Yes, they can. So able to get two Hydro Cannons off here against the Pidgeot, and it might just force two shields, which it does. That is beautiful. They can easily come in with Charizard right now, but they need to be very careful about a Brave Bird. So let's see if they decide to let it go through. No, they're going to go ahead and shield the Feather Dance, and now they're going to go for the Dragon Claw, and I believe that was CMP Tie, um, based on the energy that Pidgeot does have. And yeah, it was. So this is probably, if this is a Brave Bird, it's definitely going to be one-shotting. Yeah, it's going to be the Brave Bird. Boom! Down goes the Charizard. In comes the Venusaur. They might just be able to farm down in time. We see a swap out now into the Swampert. So they're going to go ahead and go for the Frenzy Plant to take it out. And they should be able to, I believe, even fast move down the Pidgeot. But they're going to be close enough to a Frenzy Plant right now. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and take it right here. So Venusaur going to sweep up nicely. So Blastoise, kind of a core breaker there, right? Does very well against the Swampert because of the Water Cannon or the uh, Hydro Cannon Water Gun damage damage and also has the ice beam for the flyers all right game two we have another we got another swampert and another knocked out oh man who made a team about this on youtube who did it um so we're gonna we're going to see them no shield the first sky attack and look to go for that ice beam again, most likely. We'll have to see if the knocked out. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and overload on energy. Look to go for the ice beam and let's see if it gets a shield this time. Yes, it does get a shield this time. So now they're going to have to shield if they want to try to land the next charge move, which they're looking to do. They might just be able to take switch advantage if the opponent decides to let this go. So they're going to go ahead and they can safely go for Hydro Cannons now. It does enough damage where this should be able to take out a Knocked Out if they decide to let it go through. And they do get two shields. So this is definitely a different situation than before where the Knocked Out now is staying alive. So it's going to be up to Charizard to actually sweep this whole team. They're going to have to come in and just load up on energy. They're going to be forced to shield as well because that sky attack is just going to do so much or the shadow ball is going to do a lot of neutral damage. But they decide to swap back into Swampert, which is definitely a mistake as Venusaur right here can fully farm down and have Sludge Bombs ready to go for the Pidgeot. Earthquake, not enough damage to take them out. Well, oh no, the Swampert was about to take out the Venusaur with fast moves so they are actually forced to throw a frenzy plant now we will see knocked out come back in so they're going to go ahead and come in with a charizard and go for the dragon claw to get it out of there and now this is going to be a very interesting race brave bird and pidgeot no it's a skarmor even better this is perfect charizard now roaring for the big boom here it comes boom one shots the skarmory that is going to be a good game. Very well played. Moving into the next battle, we have Blastoise on the lead versus Galarian Stunfist. So a very positive lead right here for them. They're going to go ahead and swap out into Sableye and in it comes the Charizard. This is actually, this is going to be a tough one. The Shadow Claw damage is really going to add up and Charizard is going to be forced to throw Dragon Claws themselves. The SH Dragon Claw, the Shadow Claw damage is really going to be adding up. And now they're going to be forced to throw Dragon Claws here. And the Sableye could no shield some of these. And they're going to go ahead and shield that first one. They're going to go for the second one now. And this is the one that might get no shielded by Sableye if they're trying to get themselves. Yeah, they're going to try to get themselves shield advantage, which means Charizard is going to have to give up two shields in order to win this mid game matchup and fully farm down. But thankfully, they will probably have a Blast Burn ready to go on the back end. 
for the Galarian Stunfisk, which means this is going to be getting that final shield from the opponent, otherwise it's getting boomed, and yeah, they do get the final shield, they're going to go ahead and swap into Blastoise, drawing out a Metacham now, so a very meta team, Galarian Stunfisk, Metacham, and Sableye, triple starters going against it right here, and this is looking to be a good game, remember there is still a Venusaur in the back, which can do a lot of damage against this team, especially with that Frenzy Plant. So they're going to go ahead and land the Psychic, look to go for one more Hydro Cannon, and they did a very good job right there. Notice they let themselves get countered down a bit more. That way Galarian Stunfist doesn't get too much energy here against um, Blastoise. Now, this is going to be a very close game. They're going to have to maybe catch a charge move on Charizard. So they're going to come in with Venusaur right here. Frenzy Plan is going to do a lot, but not enough to KO, which means they're going to have to definitely catch a charge move as the Earthquake will land. And this is going to be interesting. One, two, three, four, five. I think the Galarian Stunfist now has a Rock Slide, so they might want to look to swap right here to try to catch it. Let's see if they do. Oh, they go one more and they catch it though. Beautiful. Maybe I was miscounting right there, or they just decided to go on six instead of five, and now Venusaur will be able to get to the next Frenzy Plan in time and take this game. So a triple starter team doing very well against Galarian Stunfisk, Medicham, and Sableye. Very cool. All right, moving into and it's I it's gotta be because of the tre or the um, Charizard Wing Attack buff. That's why how strong it is. Now we do see a Venusaur swap out now, and we will see a Galarian Stunfisk come in. This is very interesting. I don't know about you guys, but I've seen Trevenant, Galarian Stunfisk, and then a Lantern typically back there as well. And having the Venusaur safe swap kind of forces out the Trevenant unless they decide to stay in. But it also makes this matchup a lot better for Venusaur because they can get themselves shield advantage. Actually, this is going to be pretty close. They're going to go ahead and shield the Rock Slide. And now let's see if they can win the race to the next Frenzy Plan. I don't know if they're going to be able to, but at least getting this into the ones is going to be pretty good for them. Now, if there is, a, in fact, a Lantern in the back, it can do very well at Core Break in this team. Unless they get two shields right here, then we might see a big win. And they do get two shields, which is perfect. So now the Venusaur can let this go through. Let's see if they decide to. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and let it go through. They get farmed down. And then we will see the Blastoise come in and load up on energy. Now, if I am reading this correctly, there's going to be a Lantern in the back. Yeah, there's a Lantern. This is tough now. As it's going to do so... Oh, it's a Water Gun Lantern as well. A bit different. If it was Spark, it's definitely game over. Because the uh, Hydro Cannons here aren't doing too much. But it's actually a Water Gun Lantern lantern and they still have a shield which means charizard could potentially win this oh the thunderbolt lands they do get to another hydro cannon in time and now charizard has to come in it needs to get to that dragon claw as quickly as possible in order to take out lantern and let's see if they get to oh the opponent makes a good swap into trevenant but unfortunately this is going to set them up now to be able to farm down as this is going to be a very tight race yeah as long as they shield this charge move coming through Let's see if they decide to shield. They should be shielding. No, the Shadow Ball lands. Boom! Down it goes, and that is going to be a good game. I All right, moving to the next one. We have Blastoise on the lead versus Metacham. So, somewhat of a neutral matchup right here, but I wouldn't be surprised if the back line has a steal, whether that's Galarian, Stunfist, Bastion, or Reggie Steel, which means the Charizard could easy is either going to do very well or very poorly. So, let's see how they decide to play this out. They're going to go ahead and let that Hydro Cannon go through, and in comes the first charge move now from Metacham. They're going to go ahead and shield, and it was the Psychic. No swap out, but we do see a swap out now in to knocked out. This is actually very advantageous for them because with the knocked out out on the field, it gives Venusaur a lot more wiggle room in the back to potentially sweep if there isn't a second flyer. So we will see the ice beam come through, but is it going to be shielded? Yes, it is going to be shielded. They're going to go ahead and swap out now into Charizard. And this is definitely going to be a dangerous situation where they have to shield the sky attack now. Keep Charizard. Oh, they're going to let it go. And it was a shadow ball. Uh oh. So the, if knocked out shields this, I think it's game over. Let's find out. No, they decided to no shield. That's a huge call right there for them to just go straight for Blast Burn, hoping that the opponent would let it go. And it's actually going to be a Lantern in the back. This is now going to be a Venusaur sweep as they can safely no shield the charge moves here from Lantern since it's going to be resisted. Build up to a Frenzy Plant in a bit. 
and then sweep this game because Metacham doesn't have the energy, Lantern doesn't have the damage output, it's game over. But honestly, sometimes games come down to that, right? If the opponent decides to no-shield something that in hindsight, had they shielded, it's game over, locked and done. Sometimes that's your win condition. So now we're going to see the Metacham come in and we do see a surrender. So good battle. All right, moving into the next one. We have Blastoise versus Shadow Obama Snow right here. That's going to be a tough one. Let's see if they, they're going to go ahead and decide to stay in. Energy Ball is going to do a lot of damage, and they're going to go ahead and go for Hydro Cannon here. This is going to be resisted, but it might just do enough or make them fear. No, definitely no fear right there from Obama Snow as they are going to overload on energy and probably look to go for Energy Ball here. To, but will it one-shot the Blastoise? Yeah, they do decide to shield right there. That is a good call. Can they get to another Hydro Cannon in time? No. No, they cannot. So a second charge move coming through, and this is going to be the energy ball, which does KO. Charizard's going to come in right away. We see a swap out now into Sableye. I have a feeling I know what the back line is going to be, but we'll find out. We're going to see a Blast Burn get shielded right there, unfortunately, and they decide to come in now with Venusaur here to catch the charge move. So this is going to be a tough neutral matchup for Venusaur because they need to get to that Frenzy Plant. Otherwise, the Sableye will take it and they do get to it in time. This is crucial right here for this game because if it is Metacham in the back and they get the final shield, which they did, this is going to be a very very close end game. Metacham will still have access probably to Ice Punch, which might just be enough damage to take out the Charizard. Sableye is going to be able to throw a foul play here, so now Charizard is going to have to be careful about its energy. Remember, there is still a Bomb of Snow with a little bit of energy, and they need to load up. Oh, we see a swap out into Metacham, so now they're going to be forced to throw Blast Burn here, and I don't know if Charizard has enough health to close this game out. No, not able to KO. They farm down, but there is still Obama Snow and Metacham in the back. Obama Snow comes in, so they go for the Dragon Claw, and I did. I don't think they have a second one ready to go. No, they do not. So Sableye is going to take it right there. Good game. So just not enough bulk on the Charizard in order to take that one. All right, we got another Metacham lead right here. So they're going to go ahead and decide to stay in. We'll have to see how the opponent decides to react because we know how they want to play this. They want to shield that Psychic if they think it is going to be. So they're going to go ahead and shield in. It was a Psychic, so perfect. And they want to try to get to two Hydro Cannons, forcing the shields now from Metacham. But it's all about that backline. If there's a Noctowl out there, they need to get it out onto the field. So let's see if they can do that. They do get to the second Hydro Cannon in time. And now this is a matter of if Metacham is going to let it go or look to double shield, or single shield, I should say. They look to shield, and they're going to go ahead and go for another charge move. They're going to let it go through. So now Charizard can safely come in and farm down with Wing Attack. They decide to swap out into Galarian Stunfisk, and this is now a very tough situation for them because they're going to be forced to swap out unless they can get to two... Um, Blast Burns right here. Actually, no, they're going for the bait with Dragon Claw. If this gets a shield, this could be... No, it's no shielded. That is so unfortunate. They're now going to have to catch the charge move on Venusaur, which they do, but I have a feeling there might be a hard counter in the back as they do catch that Rock Slide. The opponent is not swapping out. Maybe it's a Lantern back there, which if it is, I think it's game over anyways because it, hard, it will hard counter the Charizard. And they do get a shield, yeah. This Galarian Stunfisk wants to get this Venusaur out. Oh, they swap into Metacham. Oh, that is so unfortunate as the Frenzy Plant will connect, unfortunately, on the wrong Pokemon as Galarian Stunfisk is going to be one-shotting both Venusaur and... Oh, no, it's a Diggersby in the back. This might have been a crucial error by the opponent not coming in with Galarian Stunfisk because Frenzy Plant now is going to do super effective. The Fire Punch is going to land. Switch Clock is down. I think this was an error. They can come in with Charizard and farm down and win the CMP tie with Blast Burn. Oh, the unfortunate throws right here as they will be... Uh, uh, yeah, they do survive the earthquake and yeah, Stunfisk comes in and they do get to the blast burn in time. So that is going to be a good battle. Very well played. Dang, that was a close one. All right, moving into the next battle. We have Blastoise on the lead versus Alolan Ninetales. Okay, let's see if it's Charm. It is going to be Powder Snow variant. Okay, so this is definitely a much better matchup for Blastoise because of the damage with Water Gun while resisting 
the weather ball. Oh no, they just they have a psi shock. Okay, so while resisting the powder snows, I should say. So hydro cannon right here is going to be putting in a lot of work. Now the back line could be a lot of different things, and they are actually going to go ahead and decide to shield that psi shock as they go for the first hydro cannon here. But will they get a shield from Alolan Nine Tails? No, they don't. So now they can load up on energy. They can safely farm down. Yeah, easily farm down. No shield this psi shock. They can survive. Blastoise is pretty tanky. And then let's see what that next Pokemon is going to be. They decided to swap into Sableye. So they kept the Alolan Ninetales alive for a potential sack, sack swap later on. But Blastoise having two Hydro Cannons now is going to put a lot of pressure on Sableye. And they will likely swap out here into Charizard for this matchup. No, they swap into Venusaur instead. So the Sableye decided to double shield, which is definitely going to be, I think, a critical mistake. As Frenzy Plant here should be able to near one shot the Sableye. Um, and then they should be able to farm down with Vine Whip and have a good amount of energy for that final Pokemon. So, yeah, that's what it's looking to be. They should be able to farm down. No, the Sableye gets to a second foul play in time. And they're going to go ahead and no shield it and trust in Charizard to sweep this game. The next Pokemon is Galarian Stunfist. So this is going to be a good game right here as Blastburn's going to do so much damage in this matchup. Boom! One shots the G Fisk, and that is a good battle. There still ain't. They decided to surrender. All right, good game. Moving to the next one, we have Blastoise on the lead versus Bastiodon. So, very positive matchup right here. And we do see a swap out into Metacham, so we're going to go ahead and see that Venusaur come in. Now, this is a very tough matchup because Metacham has access to the charge moves that can do. Oh, a no shield right there on the power up punch. Interesting that they didn't build up to Psychic first. Um, but it has access to the charge moves that can do super effective damage here to Venusaur. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if this is Power Up Punch, Ice Punch, Metacham. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and shield. Is it going to be an Ice Punch? No, it's going to be the Psychic. So they can farm down right now, easily take Switch back. And let's see what decides to come in. I believe it was Bastiodon on the lead. So yeah, it's going to be the Bastion. They have Frenzy Plants ready to go, which still does a decent amount of damage, and they should be able to get to three, I think, in time. Uh, yeah, they should They should be able to get to three. This is going to be real. It's going to be a very close third right here. It's all about how much damage that next SmackDown is going to do. Yeah, they survive it, so they do get to three right there with one HP and a Dream, forcing the first shield of this game now from Bastion. And they can come in with Blastoise now. Look to no shield right here. Fully farmed down. And it's all about that backline matchup. What is it going to be? Is it going to be a Shadow Victory Bell? Yeah, it's going to be a Shadow Victory Bell. Yeah, that's game over. This is what you love to see. Charizard just coming out to mow the grass right here. As they can safely go for Double Dragon Claws to close this game out. Bastiodon's going to try its best to farm down. But no, they're going to go ahead and go for a Blast Burn here to force the final shield of this game, and Blastoise should be able to take it with Water Gun, but they decide to let it go. All right. Good battle. Moving to the next one, we have Blastoise on the lead versus Noctowl. Okay. There could be a lot of Pokemon in the back, but let's see how they decide to play this. We already know the Water Gun Ice Beam combination is pretty deadly here against Noctowl, and with the bulk on Blastoise, they should be able to survive this first Sky Attack, and the next one, just because of how much bulk it has. This is going to be very close, though. We know once Noctowl builds up to that second Sky Attack, it's probably going to be enough damage to nearly KO. And they do get a shield there from Noctowl. So will they give up one shield here in order to get off another Hydro Cannon? Or a Hydro Cannon here? Again, yeah, they're going to go ahead and do that. Build up to the Hydro Cannon. I don't think I have enough time to get to an Ice Beam. So the Hydro Cannon chip damage is just going to be enough. As they do get two shields now. And Knockdown really wants to take Switch Advantage right here. And this is a good situation where Charizard could easily come in and fully farm down. And even give up a shield here against Knockdown. But yeah, they're going to have to give up a shield here. If they fully farm down, they have a lot of energy for that back line. They're going to let the Sky Attack go through, though. That is very, very dangerous because not... Oh, my goodness. This is a tight one. Yeah, they do farm down. What's going to be coming in? Is it going to be Lantern? It's going to be Galarian Stunfisk. What? You're going to get one shot, my dude. Oh, man. Boom! And simultaneous KO final Pokemon is going to be Metacham. So, I guess it kind of made sense. I mean, no. Bla the Blast Burn would have only done neutral to... um to uh, Metacham here instead of one-shotting. So they do shield the Psychic 
and they should be able to get to double frenzy plants in time and that is going to be a good game very well played yeah in that situation with how low health charizard was you gotta come in with metacham it's gonna hurt D the blast burn's gonna hurt right you have no shields left but a half below like a 40 percent hp metacham is a lot better than a zero hp galarian stunfist so that was a good game very well played and that was the final battle so hope you guys enjoyed today's video shout out to mr thamagotcha for sharing this team really fun blastoise venusaur charizard and with that wing attack update this team now looks actually pretty viable in the meta so hope you guys enjoyed today's video and like always thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one